Maybe you should just end it's this the type, work you know so what? poorly that it, it's, you don't it's get the type It's the type of pen. Jail. It's the type of pen that would be least useful to whatever you want to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what kills? What kills somebody with it? <laughs> it's a hell pen. of a GM <laughs> Wow. That's a... What, this feels antithetical to the <laughs> rules of Dungeon World, Neo. The no. GM's supposed to be fans of the characters. Your job is to enable us to do. I cool don't stuff. know types of pens. It's a pen. I mean, is it like is a it fountain pen? Is, is it like a quill and ink dip thing? Or is this like, you know, that's like, is this dipping an ink pen? Is this like, you know, quill and ink? Okay, so that got, works. So we got a goose feather. I drink But you know, like ink. a dip pen uh, with an inkwell. Um, yeah. Felina starts doing that, then, like, you know, tries to write, and basically immediately, you know, after writing like two lines, spills the ink on the thing and, like, you know, messes up the pen and is just, oh darn, well, this is ruined. I better go grab a Got another pen. copy in the drawer. <laughs> Need a new nothing pen. but copies. And, Got yeah, another inkwell the... in the drawer. Whoops, this pen also broke. Here's what you do. You just end Click up on a drumstick, like just get Dingo arrested. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, she's not meant to be in jail. Dingo is. Alright, fine. Okay, yeah, I'll just fine, I'll just like what is this paperwork? What's on it then? So let's do some paperwork. The paperwork <laughs> wants you yes. to uh state the time of the incident, uh mm -hmm. the name of the person uh, the name of the person who coll who, who collapsed, and the uh, their physical makeup, why, their uh, what they were doing at the time, and why Sleep they were brought in to the jail. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. So uh, yeah, Felina describes herself. You know, asking to be moved away from leering creep. Um, you know, <laughs> brought in because, you know, person of interest involved in, you know, a assault was assaulted, broken ribs, person of interest. Uh-huh. Um, just, like, scribbles that all down really quick. How's his, right. um, medical examination going? Well, uh, he checked her vitals and he's, they're assuming fine, but, uh, as you look over... He's shackling her to the to the bed. <laughs> strapping oh no! Her down. She's he's strapping her down. Oh no! This is the session where murder begins. Oh, do you think she's a danger? Wait, hold on. No, you it said, wasn't no, last you said, session where it no, began. Well, no, you okay, said no. You said you said she started. You said she started yeah. thrashing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got you. Sure. I got you. Like with the snakes. All right. I guess we well, can give her. Yeah. 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 Murder by proxy. Doesn't count. Welcome to the club, baby. Uh, you have fun with that. Mm hmm. Yeah, so just go take that to the front. Will do. And yeah, I'm gonna walk out with, you know, the um, paperwork. Yeah. Leave my body in there with him. Nice. Cool. So, I am now going to, instead of just going to the front, I am going to both, um, ooh, you know, take my time of it, walk around a bit, and I am going to, where is my move for this? Uh, oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm going to spend a moment surveying the area of this, you know, station. Uh -huh. Um, I get two questions. Where's my best way in, out, or through? Uh, your best way in, out, or through would be uh the front entrance. Okay. Um. And is there a trap or ambush here? And if so, where? Is there anything that you know, any hidden traps or walls or gates that will clamp down or things like that to avoid? Um, well, you're in the middle of a heavily guarded, yeah, of like of like a high 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 population of guards. So, 
But, you know, it, it's just that there are lots of guards. There's no, like, yeah. you know, yeah. hidden traps or anything. Okay, cool. I am going to go and... Um, see if I can, like... I'm assuming other ones are going to be guarded. But if it comes to it, I will, like, just make a mad dash and try and, like, to unlock some... Um, Actually, no, I take that back. I take that back. Just to remind you, I did describe there weren't many other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're, they're, and who you saw Correct, are mostly yeah. either drunk or sleeping. Mm-hmm. So Let what me you think do? for a second. Um, do we want to actually? Could we cut back? I, I just need to think for like just a minute. Want to cut back to like hero or something for a second, or even okay. Yeah. <sighs> or even uh, Angelo, hero, do you have anything? Do you have anything here? Yeah, no. He he's yeah, gonna ask. Gonna so real quick. okay. So Scott, Angelo why is a why are you in here? Stole a pen. What? Stole a pen. Stole a pen. Yeah, petty theft. It's overnight stay. No, I heard that you were do, you were trying really hard to get in here. Why did you steal a pen? Uh, sudden psychotic break. What? That's sudden. That sounds ho ho serious. What happened? Uh, sudden. No, mental issue. Lost my mind. That's it. Are you okay? You need help? Well, yeah, I'm fine well, now. Are, are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I can I can probably help you, like at least to, with the physical healing. No, there are no physical damage. Oh, hmm. Well, my grandpa used to always say that meditation is always the best way to heal a broken mind. My mind's not broken. It's just different. I... I'm literally I'm literally neurodivergent and a minor. <laughs> I I see. It's different. Uh, like. If you don't mind me asking how? That's personal. Oh, oh, sorry. Mm. Hero, how are you gonna get out of this jail cell, man? Oh, he, he'll find- he, he can- he can easily get out. He's just waiting. He's like, he, okay. He's, what's he waiting for, then? He's he waiting to, he wants to do it legally. That would be breaking out of jail. And that would be breaking the law. Uh, could have probably got gone out of here, but ah uh, no. Uh, he uh, looks at the guard. Hey, uh, how much longer am I in here again? Uh, just make sure. And the guard just like sighs and says, "12 hours." Um, oh, excuse me. How about me? Pending investigation. <laughs> and how long will that take? Well, it would have been a day, but some kid turned up and fucked up the fire, so it could be weeks now. <laughs> Okay, so how long it takes for them to investigate? You got an idea? Because I'm I'm with the circus and oh my god! Why? <laughs> you know, are why? You're with... Hero, and they, why? They might be. <laughs> you are. You know they might be. You know they might be going soon. Ish. You know, actually, somebody from the circus was there when the well, fire happened. Maybe you should I'll, talk to I'll, them. I'll, I'll pass that along. <laughs> and uh. He just get... opens, he just cracks the door open <laughs> behind him and just says, the two, those two are involved with the circus. No, no, not the other guy. No, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah the guy and the girl. I don't, I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're dating. I don't, I don't know if that was. The hop to back scene, the one who looks listen, like listen. Dragon Quest. If they're people. dating, no, no, no. Like, what? No, 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 if they're, if they're dating, it's a very abusive relationship. Yeah? What? Okay, yes, yeah, just tell them. Yeah. With the circus. He's definitely the top in the relationship, I'm pretty right, sure. Yeah, bye bye. And yeah, and then he closes the door. <laughs> and um, then gets back to uh <laughs> you know. You can see it? for you so, can see for uh, you yeah. can see for a crack in the door so they he... bring fan art of shipping for Lena and Hero. So, just gonna say Hero heard all of that, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Shit. He was saying to yeah, the the Someone on the other side to go and report it. Oh no! You caught his half of the conversation. Oh dear! I take mental damage. 
<laughs> Mark shaky. Oh no, this can't be good. Wait, what? Oh no. Hmm. Belina, have Welcome you figured out a thing. solution yet? I just, I, well, you know, I had, but like, now it's like, I mean, you know. <laughs> What you, you don't uh, technically wear a vacuum get... asphyxiating everyone in the building. And with That's that... very true. Yeah. Well, by the way, so yeah, what you just missed, Snake, was a uh, hero ratted out the circus. Yeah. <laughs> he what? <laughs> he ratted out the circus. What was, he was... Wait, what was there to rat out? What have I... He just, said, you know, he hey, we're, we're with, with the circus. Us yeah, he said we're with the circus. It's, oh, it's no, really no, important with that. Fired. We're already on thin ice <laughs> with Orius, whatever his name is. And like, now it's because that was a thing we would get with the circus and then leave. <laughs> now, like, the entire fucking circus is gonna be like a flight risk and like forced to stay oh. in fucking regions. Yeah, good thing there's no planes in this setting, huh? <laughs> oh, boy, this is gonna be fun. The CWA can't do anything. All right, Angelo. Angelo's just walking back, thinking, "Oh God, I hope everyone's okay." And now he's gonna have to strangle Hero. <laughs> so yeah, Hero. Anything else? Uh, no, not really. Hero is like, uh, how? Well, at least Angelo will probably fi figure out who I am. He, I think he's, he's at least so. He's decently smart. So yeah, fully enough. Oh, fully enough. Fully enough. Okay. Fully enough. Oh, okay. where'd James go? There he is. Fully enough. But so, and to repeat, there are no, like, you know, with my whole, like, examination of the place, there are no windows or, like, vents or anything like that that could potentially be... No, not really. Just, just, really, it's just the front door. Just the front That's entrance, really. Up. You can always make your own entrance, though. I mean, yeah, but, like, you know, it's easier There's... to cut through bars than, like, fucking solid wall. Not true, there's formaldehyde, you can explode that. So, uh... Elena doesn't have formaldehyde, say... she you know has... Let's say, uh... You're, you're, you're in a hospital part of a um, jail cell. Fuck, you know, let, let's say... Well, no, she went to look around. So let's ah. say, uh, you were in... You, you were actually... You were... You would confirm that the front entrance was, uh, like, really the best way out. And that... So you were in, uh, the front desk. You are by yes. the front desk. Uh... A, uh... A guard comes in. Uh, towards the front desk and uh, goes up to uh, the cap the uh, captain officer of uh, the station captain of the station and says uh, yeah we uh, just got uh, write down new intel uh, the uh, cat uh, cat the cat girl and uh, the uh, weird kid they're with the circus circus yeah, he says that to, to that, that that's a conversation. That's something he says to the head cap, yeah. to the captain of the station. Right. Circus. No, Felina just sort of like stops as she hears that. <laughs> um, you know, like and just sort of like takes a moment to like try and process that, and then you know just um. Turns um, and starts, you know, walking back to you know the the cells where she was kept. <laughs> uh, she knocks on the door of medical and just says, "You know, might be about to need you in cell block, whatever it is." Um, <laughs> oh no! And is just going to you know march back to a um, hero cell. Oh no! Angelo's just walking back and going, I hope <coughs> yeah. everyone's okay. I hope everyone's Angelo's just doing the slowest strides. Like, he's walking yeah. like, like a Charlie Brown. You walked back the... to that, to that, uh, cell hall. Uh, the so yeah, you, you're, you're gonna come at the door, uh, the, the, just the guard station at the door by, that's at the left door by Hero is, uh, already there, so you would be taking station up by the empty cell where you were. I'm just uh, gonna say, he, he... I would be doing. Yeah. But, uh, but, I'm yeah, just gonna say, Hero is. Uh, and that's I'm what just you gonna... see. You see, see yeah. what Hero? What are you doing? He's meditating. You know, he's just sitting there, kind of, yeah. <laughs> just doing meditation or like thinking. So yeah, which door do you? So which which way do you walk in? Like from which part? Which like do you walk in from the from the right or from the left? From Hero's side. From Hero's side. Okay. So yeah, you sort of like yeah, you kind of have to knock, and then the uh, guard station there opens up. And says, oh, finally, you're back. Yeah. Um, so it's just the one other guard, right? Who yeah. Had... And just say, hey, the 
medical wants you to also just sign the paperwork. I filled it out, but you know, they also want your since you were also involved. Oh, they're getting so goddamn pressy about tell this. Me about it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just uh like walks off to medical. Yeah. All right. Unlock hero cell. Walk in. <laughs> it it is already unlocked. Oh, you true, locked it true. again. Yeah, true. Yeah. You lo- so just you yeah, it. open up hero cell and just say, I'll walk over to hero, fucking meditating, crouch down in front of him. Hey, I heard you uh had some more <laughs> things to say. Hmm. Oh, hi, Mister Officer. I, no, I don't About really have any circus where my fucking boyfriend <laughs> works, incriminating everyone and meaning they won't be able to leave now. Wait, you have a boyfriend, there, hero? Sir? Oh, oh. is just going to grab Hero by the call. Like she is just going to like grab Hero's neck and start strangling, like just uh, bashing whoa, his head. Whoa. She is going to start just beating him up with all of her like very insubstantial might. Like I, she, you know, this is Felina. She has minus one strength. Can't actually do much, but she is just oh my god, wait, beating so, Hero as hard as she can. So wait, just because. So even though you're inside the body of a really, I have buff my own guard, stats. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. this buff guard is surprisingly weak. Yeah. Just a heads up, did they heal after our session? They must have, because they did go to the hospital, didn't they? Well, sorry, the doctors. We did go to a hospital, yes. All right. So true. Oh, yeah, but did we heal Neo? Like, uh, Yeah. Half HP or all yeah, of half, it? Yeah, half HP. Half okay, max HP. Cool. Always what we do. Where the fuck is my sheet? Uh, do uh, we oh, round, was in and you we round down or not? kids. Uh, okay, we no. we round we round uh we round up. Okay. Okay. Cool. So yeah, and yeah, Felina just starts like you know throttling and just like smacking Hero's head. And if I have a nightstick, you know, <laughs> using that, just like, you big stupid this is piece of useless fucking anime trash. Anime Wait. trash. Wow. Anime trash. So okay, so that's, Hero's that's being player. beaten on by this guy. He's yeah. gonna be like. Yeah, yeah. Hero is being beat off by Felina. That is correct. <laughs> well, Hero is gonna both take him a... with both hands. Hero is gonna, hmm. you know, what? yourself. Teleport yeah, out no. window. Yeah, no. He, the idea is there are no fucking windows in this place. There's not a one. Yeah, it's no. the most depressing place to work in the world. And concrete <laughs> negates his powers. <laughs> Oh, I see that uh, her host is bleeding in, bleeding through a bit there. No, but the hero's gonna try and teleport, and basically he's gonna teleport behind her. <laughs> behind her, still yeah. in his cell. Teleports behind yeah. you. Yeah. Right. No, nothing personnel, kid. So yeah, hero teleports, warps behind, behind Oof. Felina. Nothing personnel. Hey, take it easy. You son of a bitch! And. I'm gonna whip around and just try and, like, you know, swing at his ribs. He wa- he always gotta try and sidestep dodge. At least I'm not a son of a cat. Alright, uh... Well, let's make this an opposed check. A strength versus dex. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. hmm. Alright. Okay, yeah, hero dodges. Uh, and that's <laughs> when, uh, the door... Uh, to the- one of the hall doors opens up and says- And you hear this, what's- What's the noise? What's the commotion? What's going on? Uh, I'm gonna try also... and football tackle Hero as he oh, sure, is distracted rest. by this. This officer tried to attack me. Uh, and he says, okay. "As I just as rugby tackle, as you rugby tackle." Okay, have a reason to though. So yeah, he opens the door to see Hero getting rugby tackled. <laughs> by this officer is trying to do ah. And this is okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get off! Get off him! <laughs> Come on, break it up. Come on, you're, you're... Get, control yourself, man. Control yourself as a. You start and Felina's to, like uh, frothing at the oh, mouth, yeah. like, you motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you. I swear to the gods, I'm gonna fucking kill you. And you listen, know what? what? Hey, 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 listen, we have a system. We'll sort it out. We don't take it in our own hands, man. Come on. We Felina's have, oh, gonna yeah, take yeah, this <laughs> moment. What kind of police officer is this? Her own body. You gotta fill out the yeah. paperwork to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> officer, <laughs> help! This man has gone crazy. <laughs> officer, okay. control yourself. And He's Felina not black. pops out, and suddenly you just hear the guy goes limp for a bit, and then wakes back up and goes, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! Where am I?" Uh, um, on top of me. What? 
Whoa. What the hell? And yeah, okay and yeah, he's he's dragged off of you. And uh, the other guy looks like, listen, what the hell? Why were you beating him? What? What? I I I wasn't. I was I was just at the other door. I I was the the girl asked me to wear asked me if to take her to a different bathroom, and then I kind of blacked out. And uh, just the uh, guard just like looks him very concerned, just and then just sort of pats him slowly on the shoulder and says, "Let's take you to uh, the nice place, buddy. All right, I'll get someone to cover you. I'll get someone I'll to like... cover your post. I'll be back. In I the like the okay. nice place." And then he just like just this guard is just sort of shell shocked as he's just sort of let out. <laughs> Oof. And, what uh, do I see when I, you know? So yeah, you see, you're strapped to the bed mm -hmm. as, uh, and uh, there is a, and you are about to be injected with, some, about to have a needle in your arm. A needle. Okay, in your, yeah. Helena yeah. wakes up, like, you know, just sort of gives it a nice, like, eyes blinking open, and then just a ah at the needle, ah! like. Wait, do I hear this? No. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just curious if it was the other uh, all uh, the room over. And the no, no, no. We're a ways away. Yeah, and the doctor goes, yo, yo, young lady, young lady, calm down, calm down. What? what? Hi. Huh? What? What are you doing? You collapsed? Oh, God, not again. Please don't. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. I'd like you what to calm down. What are you checking me with? This was, this, was, this was going to attempt to see if it would resuscitate you, but I see that's happened now, so we don't need it anymore. Oh, 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 oh I myself. passed out again. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm sorry to it. worry you. You're strapped down because we we're told you were thrashing about. Um, I, I, I thrash in my, I get bad dreams in my sleep. Um, oh no, I must have, I must have fainted again. It, it runs in my family. I'm really sorry. Whenever I get really stressed out, um, oh God, it was him. Uh, he was watching me. I'm I'm so sorry to have caused trouble. It I get really worked up and nervous when the things he's done. But I, I'm so what? sorry to have scared you guys. The things. All right. Well, and thank you for keeping me safe. Um. All right. Can, can can I can I move? He. I I I've had some bad times being restrained. Um. Please, sir. Well. He uh, says, "Well, you're not a thrash and risk anymore. Uh, you know, roll charisma." Thank you. Achoo! Achoo! Ooh, ooh. Mm. So okay, so. Hmm. He says, "All right. Well, I I know we're like person of interest. Uh, what if I say this? Oh, some concrete okay. assurance. You can like keep me handcuffed to the bed or whatever, but just so I can, you know." Move like and sit up and whatnot, please. And all right, undo uh, your straps so you can sit straight up. But listen, the if you try to bounce out or do anything, they are guards stationed right outside that door. Uh -huh. I understand. Uh, Don't worry. I I'm just I'm just glad I'm safe. Okay, and yeah, he starts undoing your straps. Nice. And yep, pretty, you're uh, able to uh, sit straight up. As he sort of rolls his chair back uh, to go over a chart and just asks, all right, so you said this was a ongoing problem? Um, oh, yeah. No, I, it, yeah. like I said, it runs in my family through my, um, right. from my father's chronic, side, actually. Chronic fainting. All right. Yeah, and it's been going back since my great grandfather, I think. And the spasms. Oh, that just that's always happened in my sleep since I was a kitten. Get bad dreams, but um, you know, the more stressed out I am, you know, I get nightmares and then just you know, struggle. Right. Yeah, he writes. He jots something down. Mm -hmm. I've been, and she sort of rubs her arm. Mm -hmm. I've I've been stressed out a lot lately. That guy, he, he's a dangerous man. He can do things to your mind. He can, you know, 
I think that's, that's why he, because, you know, because I faint, like, he'll make people, like, lose huge chunks of memory and stuff like that when he tries to manipulate them. He has mind powers that's like that. He, that's you. So he, sweet. He what? He can, like, influence people to, like, do stuff, I think. I don't know, I've seen him just, people do things they normally wouldn't around him, but, like, lots of times they, like, lose, I mean, I've lost chunks of time around him. And I don't know what he makes me do when I, like, lose bits of memory. I'm just gonna you... say Hero sneezes violently during this time. You should lobotomize him to depower him. Yeah, completely. true. <laughs> Good thinking. Ma'am, do you want to file a report about this, man? I... Sure would. I, I'm scared to. If I put, if I write anything down, it, you know, he has ways of tracking back to me. Definitely not when I'm in the building with him. They could put you in witness protection, that's fine. <laughs> well, you're still both pending investigation for a number is there, of different issues. There's not another guard station I could go to, is there? I'd probably feel safer. That's not my authority to take you to another building, ma'am. But is there one? I mean, I know you can, there but... There are others, but I'd have... You'd, there'd be, you'd need to get approval. Okay, that would that'd be good. Um, oh god, why am I sneezing so damn much? You can stay in the medical office for now if you don't want to Thank head you. back to the um, cell. I, I, uh, I did need to use the bathroom. Um, oh, of course, I'll, I'll step out. Oh, thank you. And uh, yeah, just motions towards uh, mm -hmm. like, like a closed off space. There's, there's one right there. <laughs> Um, my handcuff? Oh, yeah, of course. <clears throat> and, uh, he, uh, you know, takes, he uncuffs you from the bed and, uh, just, you know, tries yeah. to uh, make sure you, you're standing steady. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I milk it a bit, you know, like, a yeah. little, like, you know, okay, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. And Looks then, like I bruised my knee a bit, but yeah, cool. They're direct you to the bathroom, uh, in in the medical. Thank wall. you for being yeah. understanding. Mm -hmm. There aren't enough kind people in the world these days. Oh, <laughs> shout if you need oh anything. Oh my God, Felina's such horseshit. Oh, so, <laughs> so yeah, Felina, the bathroom. What do you do? Uh, That's I'm gonna good. wait. Um, I figure you know both between attacking hero and um you know that one guard is probably going to come off as a bit curious having just attacked someone and then been like what where am i i figure at least one of them is probably going to be being taken to medical uh -huh. um and i'm gonna try and give it a bit of time to wait for that all right <laughs> Is it to there, see is if, it... you know, I, I'm going to give it, you know, a bit to see if, like, that happens. I, I, I'm question. hoping one of them gets taken in here. Here's a question, though. Isn't there a window or something there in the bathroom? Uh, no. Could you escape uh, down the pipes? Could you move the toilet out of the way and there might be a big hole underneath it? Ah, uh, just like, um, I've forgotten the game. <laughs> you <laughs> break through a toilet in a jail. Pull. Oh, oh yeah. um, the suffering. So meanwhile, Hero, yeah. is there's a guard a at your cell who's now uh, you, no, been reassigned, and he's now uh, asking you, uh, he's asking you uh, what the circumstances were that led to uh, the previous guard attacking you. Um, I was just meditating, and he, he stormed in and starts attacking me. Why? Any idea why? No clue, actually. Did you no clue. say anything to him? Provoke him? No, he just came in and uh, started uh, threatening me. him. No, I never threatened him. Uh, and he looks over and at Scott and says, "Can you, can you corroborate his story?" And uh, Scott just leans his head back. And sighs and says, I was dozing off.
Does that mean you can corroborate his story or not? <laughs> and the guard just sighs and says, All right, God. Well, he says he blacked out. He can't remember doing that to you. Well, I mean, you saw him tackle me, right? Yes. We've got several witnesses confirm that. Do you exactly. Can you think of a reason why he might have blacked out? Lost his... No idea. No idea, actually. Or, hmm. Hmm. Maybe he was put under a spell. Spell by who? I don't know. You don't know? What, why would you raise that possibility? Who else? Who would have? Who would? I don't know. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of spells going around. I mean, I met I met a god. I met a snake that talked not a while back, not long ago. You met a you you spoke to a snake. I'm okay with him throwing the snake on the boss. No, a snake spoke to me. I can speak parcel tongue. Have you ever read Harry Potter? What did it? Hold on. Do you have any? Do you have any? Did it bite you? Uh. It did, but I then it unbit me, so to speak. What? So you you you're not. Can you show me show me where it bit you? He shows him where he, the snake bit him. Yeah. All right. No marks. No marks. Um. Take a. Uh, all right. All right. I'm okay. not in a. I'm not in the snake's frawl, if you're wondering. Well, again, just one more time. According yeah. to the guard, according to him, he was standing guard over there by yeah. uh, the girl. And yeah. after she asked to go to the bathroom, he blacks out completely, loses memory. But we've all, but he was walking around as normal, doing his duties, and yeah, then I suddenly am... he attacks you. Yeah, it's, it's strange, isn't it? You have no idea, is what you're saying. No, I have no idea why he attacked me. Why was he... And what about that girl? Um, she? Um, I mean, she probably... She pro she did faint. She did pass out. Okay. Yeah. You see, the hero he isn't lying here. He's just leaving infection. out crucial information. She blacked out the moment she collapsed. Why yeah. do you think... I mean... Why did she collapse? I don't know why she collapsed. You said you were with her. Yeah, I know her. You're with her. We're, we're acquaintances. Did you meet in the circus? No, we met before that. Oh, you... hmm? Alright, yeah, you met before that? Yeah, we did. Where? Terrible. Okay, Terrible. And then, what's your association with the circus? Um, I work for them. Uh, temporary bodyguard. What? Work for... Uh, and what about her? Um, circus cat? No, I have... Okay. No, he just... No, she, her boyfriend... Scott is, her pipes boyfriend. up and says he has a right to counsel, by the way. <laughs> a right to what? Uh, there's something... D d don't don't pay attention to him. We're talking. We're, you're talking to me. No, Scott. What are you talking about? You have a right to, to you have a right to counsel. You don't have to answer any questions. Wait, I don't. Yep. Wait, that I can't. I can't just decide not to. Oh my! As long oh as you have goodness. a lawyer, you can ask for one. Oh, I don't have a lawyer. Well, can you get him a lawyer? I'm Can sorry, you, are you involved now? Says <laughs> to Scott. And Scott just like puts his hands up. No, no, just just uh... But so officer, can you get me a lawyer? I'd like We'd... the sound of one of those. I'll see if you know what? I'm gonna go see if one's if one's willing to because I saw a guy on a billboard called Saul Goodman. Because if he that's right, skills. I'm not talk I'm not asking answering any more questions until I get the lawyer. Very well. Or, I'll go see if one's willing to represent you. Poor Felina, she won't be able to catch this moment of hero <laughs> character development. Poor character development. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> he learned how to shut up. 
<laughs> he's not learned how to shut up. <laughs> no, the, the opposite. Of, uh... Okay, so Felina. Yep. Uh, the guard walks in. Uh, not the one you possess, but the other one that was there. <laughs> Uh, the one who you told to go sign more paper. Mm-hmm. And he walks yeah. in and says, all right, uh, where, and, hey, Doc, uh, I, I need give to... a little, right. like, yelp in surprise when he comes in. Um, Whoa, oh, she's yeah. awake. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I, like, wash my hands, you know, come out of the like, oh, sorry, yeah, hi, it, it, I, chronic fainting runs in my family. All right, well, uh, Doc, and yeah, Doctor, uh, like, picks his oh, head up close. and says, yeah, uh, I gotta, gotta, I, I've gotta double sign the paperwork, the paperwork he signed. And the doctor just sort of raises an eyebrow, like, what? That, that's never been policy. Doc, come on. He, he told me. Yeah. And it's, now he's and apparently, Helena walks he's up and is like, off. Is something wrong? Did I haven't caused a problem, have I? Uh, indirectly. Is there well, something I like... can do? I'm sorry. It, it, I should have said something about my fainting. Oh, well, the guy who brought me. you here has had to go going off. Uh, the guy who brought you here had to go off to the fucking therapy, to the fucking therapy area. He blacked out and started beating up the, one of the other prisoners. No, not he, he, the other prisoner doesn't need medical support, by the way. Apparently, uh, not even light bruises. <sighs> Poor guy, the guy hasn't done training, I guess. It must have been him. Huh? Did he, like, remember it? Like, was he acting weird in general? No, yeah, he, yeah, he blacked out. He and Felina looks at, like, the doctor. Around about the time you collapsed, actually. And, and yeah, Felina looks at the the doctor and is like, "You see, it's like I told you." Why did you tell him? Um, I. It, is he still in the building? Yep. I. I I don't think I should talk about anything. Um, here, I've probably said more than I should. I don't want to risk. And Felina's like, you know, looking around very nervous. Hmm. Roll charisma. Oh. Ah, another seven. Mm. Same exact roll. Oh. You're nervous. So what what's her what's her excuse again? Uh basically she wants to talk, but she's nervous about, you know. If this dangerous man is up to his psychic tricks, she doesn't want to start, like, snitching on him in a building with him. You know, he might have, like, ears. He might be, like, you know, she fears repercussions. All right, listen, we're, we're gonna need... Alright, listen. I get... I think I get what you're saying, but we're gonna need concrete proof that he has these powers that you're saying he has. At you, least... You said the guard! At least another eyewitness another witness who can attest to this being a history with him. Is this just going to be a session of these two trying to fuck each other over in jail? <laughs> in holding cells? Um, I mean, I'm not sure if you could find someone who, you know, would be willing to, or who, like I said, people tend to get real forgetful. Well, if you two have been traveling with the circus, one of them might know. So we'll send someone out to there. Until then, uh, <laughs> guess you stay here. And uh, goes to a. Yep, they're gonna go send a messenger out to the circus about this. <laughs> I know how this is gonna go. This is gonna be good. So it's been let's interesting. switch over. Dingo. Oh, it's been it's been a while since you're, we've seen yeah. Yeah. you're uh, you're in the circus. Uh, yeah. Felina and Hero have not shown up. No, it's been to be here a few hours, hour, yeah. and uh, but Angelo just just arrived. Oh, cool. Um, they have separate tents and stuff, right? For when they're uh, you know, on their own. Yeah, well, you know, you're just uh, basically you were just sort of around the circus, and someone just told you, oh, hey, yeah, one of your party just showed up uh, at the front entrance. Oh well, he just says he'll know where I'll be. So 
Right. He's just sitting in a tent smoking on his own. All right, cool. Yeah, Angelo, you know where he is. Eating cans of beans. Yeah, Angelo... no beans. No beans are being eaten. Um, yeah, Angela, no, I, I will cans. say as well, um, I did update the picture for a reason. Oh, okay. So, well, yeah. James, that's... I said cans of beans. Not the actual beans, just the cans. Uh, the oh, the like world. a goat. Angela no longer wearing and, hat. and just look, takes a look around and looks at Angela and says, Oh, okay, well... Looks at Angela. Good thing you're all right. Oh yeah, no, he's just puffing on a cigarette and he just looks over and he goes Yeah, I guess so. Did I did I miss anything while I was gone? He just says the dragon goes Sit down, Angelo. Oh great. Somewhere. Yeah, Angelo just like I don't know, sits on like the foot of a bed. Like you make an air cushion. It's, I mean, I think we're in like a little barracksy tent, is what we. Want yeah, to I do. assume so. Like you sit on a barrel or something. Yeah. yeah well, so... you're you're also you're also allowed to uh, hang out at Randall's room. Ah, uh, that's all right. We we don't need Randall involved in this yet, but <laughs> see what happens. Uh, is, yeah, he just where is... as Andrew sits down, he kind of looks around and says, "So where is Felina and Hero? We didn't see them when I was coming in." He just. Uh, takes another big drag on his cigarette and he goes, I don't know. I have a feeling that, uh, uh I have a feeling that they might have got themselves in a little bit of trouble that you and me might have to, uh, go sort out. Oh dear. Yeah, well, let's get to it then. Where are they? What trouble are they in? He just takes another drag on his cigarette and then <laughs> just looks over at Angelo and he goes, Angela, when I joined this party, when I started traveling with you guys, you did ask me a couple of questions, didn't you? You wanted to know, you know, who I was and, you know, what uh, what my standing was and all that sort of stuff. I didn't really get a chance to ask you guys, though, what your plan was. I think I kind of got a bit of an idea, though. You and Hero, you're, you know, travelers. You want to see the world a little bit, maybe put some good into it. Is that right? is more or less correct. I want to make a name for myself, let people know the name Angelo Elgado, and let them know it stands for something good. Right, and Felina, I mean, I mean, I don't know how long you guys have traveled together, I don't know whether it was a day or a month or a year, but uh, I get the feeling that maybe she has something different in mind, what her, uh, what her thing's about. The powers that she holds are Full of potential, full of something great, and I thought, I thought maybe I could bring out some good from her, in her. Though, the more I think about it, the more I think that might have been not a great, not a great thing to do. I was just trying to force someone out into the world who didn't really wish to go there. He nods up and down then as he takes another puff on his cigarette. Well... We will go and find him, but before we do that, Angela, I gotta be a little bit honest with you. Not that I haven't been honest with you the entire time we have traveled together, it's just more so that the answers that I've given you have been a little bit like undeveloped photographs. You know, the major details are in there, but it's missing some nuance to it, which I think, considering current circumstances, it may be good if you knew him, alright? Angelo nods. Uh, well, he takes a nice big puff on his cigarette, and he goes, well, as you probably figured out, Dingo ain't my real name. In fact, his name that was given to me when I, probably not too long before I got into, uh, Terrorbone. You know, I was traveling with a group of guys who, you know, they're all right, not really much of a patch on you guys, they're a little bit of a loose-knit group, and, you know, kind of did their own thing, but, uh, Let's just say, for sake of convenience and a bit of protection on myself, it was pretty good that, pretty much from then on, people refer to me as Dingo, alright? You have skeletons in your closet. Oh, I got enough skeletons to fill the graveyard. Maybe a couple of them, in fact. As he stubs out his cigarette and uh, just rolls his shoulders a little bit. Now... A guy came to the circus yesterday while you were at the doctor's, and uh, he put the people here in danger. He was, you know, 
full of fire and brimstone, wanted to rain hell down upon him. Wanted to basically, anybody who stood in his way, he would cut them down to shreds, all right? Right. Now, as you're probably going to put two and two together, I think you know why he was here. He was after, he was after the man calling himself Dingo. Lights up a new cigarette. Yeah. Yeah, you're catching all quick. Now, we did have to, well, let's just say that, uh, you know, the circus has been very good to us, has given us protection as we travel, and I think in your and Hero's cases, it's been good because you've had a chance to, you know, see a little bit more of uh, Hemlock, you know, help people out along the way. Maybe not people, you know, people in town, you know, but you've certainly been able to help the circus, and, uh, you know, that's been pretty good. You've been able to help Hero as well with his little predicament, and certainly he kind of shows his arm where two snake bites were. You are able to help me out as well, and for that I will be forever thankful. But, well, I think it was good for us to basically show some return to the circus that, uh, we would keep them protected, and so this man that came all foul of fire and brimstone looking for Dingo, we just wanted to make sure that he wouldn't come back. Now, I think as a result of our actions, I have managed to get through without near scrape, but all Hero and Felina weren't so lucky. They had to go to the hospital to get healed up, and, well, as usually the case when you go to a hospital, people ask questions, and... Well, if you're not very good at coming up with other answers, I imagine that uh, one of them maybe managed to talk themselves into a little bit of jail time. Yeah, Angelo's just kind of like looking at you. Just Yeah, sure. You can kind of well, see that at... he's trying to calculate or he's just kind of waiting for something that he can act on. He's just... Like, to him, that is a dead end. Actually, no, he does. After a, a pause, he does. Sure. He kind of sighs and says, Did you have anything to do with the fires in town? When I got out of when I got out of the clinic, the hospital, what have you, three houses had been burned down and I don't know if they were if that had anything to do with what you're talking about. Takes a long drag on his cigarette and he goes Well you see Angelo there's a lot of solutions to problems that, uh... I'm asking for an answer, not an explanation. Well, he just looks at you and he goes, What do you think? I think you're dodging the question. Yes or no. Did what happened while I was gone have anything to do with those houses that were on fire? Yeah, he just kind of looks at you and he goes, Yeah, I guess they did. Right. Why do I feel like I'm cleaning up after mess so many messes? Well, Angelo, here's the thing. You don't have to clean up after anything, because if you decide to, you can keep your hands clean of this whole thing, because after all... Nobody knows any better. You weren't here. You have the perfect alibi. You're at the doctor's all day. You can stay at the circus, and, uh, well, that'll be that. But I know you ain't gonna do that, because your friend here and Felina, they're in trouble. Well, considering the fact that it was through my back catalogue that they got into trouble, I think it's only right for me to go and help them out as well. That being said, time, time is against us because come morning, they'll want to, the circus does want to move out of regions. Now, technically, we haven't signed back on with them, so we haven't really got a reason to travel with them. So, uh, balls in your court on that one. Well, I'm going to get my friends out of jail and you're going to help. All right. I do have a question for you, though. Sure. I don't care what kind of person you used to be. I care what kind of person you're trying to be now. Are you trying to do right? Are you trying to do good? Are you, tr are you trying to 
limit the amount of collateral damage that might be done in sorting out our problems. Says the first and he rips off the windows. He nods up and down and he goes, I like to think actions speak louder than words, all right? I might, Dingo might not be my real name, but that's what I'm calling myself now. And if you go to previous towns, they'll tell you, Dingo's a good do-gooder, all right? I did, find, uh, I did find you when you were trying to help people in need. You weren't yep. gaining anything from it, so. Absolutely, and believe me, I'm not deceiving you guys, but call myself Dingo. I mean, what the hell do I have to gain from it? So, nah, I'm going to try and do good, all right? But this was a very risky situation that we were in, okay? These guys would not take no for an answer, and they chose violence. And so, it only made sense to answer violence. And believe they me. They drew first blood. They drew first blood. And believe me, Angelo, you're quite lucky. You're pretty fresh in all of this. You haven't built up much of a you haven't built up much of a backstory. Me? Well, they want to send people after me because of who I was, or at least who they think I was, and, uh, well, I think, uh, as much as I would like to, I would like to burn away that piece of my past. And perhaps, considering I didn't really have much luck trying to do it myself, or with the previous groups I was with, if you and Hero do genuinely believe in doing good in this world, perhaps you two should consider helping me out with this bit of good that you could do. Especially considering the powers that both of you have, alright? But we can discuss that at another time, because, yeah, Hero and Felina probably in trouble. And the best thing that we can do is go and chat to them, okay? Angelo nods. He gets up and he goes to leave the tent, and he, he does turn back and he... Uh, says to Dingo, should, may as well tell you this as well, and it should be obvious. Angelo isn't my real name, either. Yeah, I figured. Body language, where you can do it yourself. Yeah, I see that in the mirror every single morning, alright? Right. Just know this. I want my name to be spread far and wide. I want people to know it, and I want people to know what I can do. Some mm. of what I can do. Not made a good job of hiding it. It's hard to fight old habits, but just know that should what I want come to pass, should who I am get out there, things are only going to get more difficult for all of us. I understand that. Hence why I said. Because at the end of the day, Angelo, the fact that they're willing to send people all the way up to regions to find little old me means that, well, circus is in danger and. All of you guys are in danger, so sooner we can nip this problem in the bud, sooner you can start building that legacy of yours, alright? Right. Think of this as the first chapter of that. Sure. Cool. That's, that's, so, they're in prison right now. They're in jail right now. That's the feeling I got, yeah. What would you suggest? Well, there's two options we can go with. Obviously, there's the less savory option of just trying to break him out, but then oh, that just creates more trouble than it's off. worth. <laughs> That's good. Theatrical. I like it. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, Snake, you fucked that up, because if you had dug a little bit deeper, I had another picture set up, but too late I now. Fucked that, I fucked that up. Yeah, yeah sorry, Snake, <laughs> you fucked that up, genuinely. <laughs> he briefly turned into a furry before putting the hat back on. Well, yeah, he turned into Captain Swift for a little bit. Oh my fuck. Um, uh, meanwhile, um, but maybe the best, re the best thing that we can do is be honest with them. Tell them, I mean, I was there, I know what they got up to, and hey, I got a hell of an excuse. I didn't know what happened to them. I thought they were in the hospital. I go there and explain everything up. Well, I might straighten this whole thing out. Okay, then let's go try and talk to the guard, then. All right. I mean, I'm uh, not yeah. going to be able to add much to this. I'll just be there. I oh, no, no, no. You're a good character reference. Sure, you know what they're I like. Can speak, uh, I can speak good words of... Hero. Yeah. An only hero. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's fucked up. Think of all the good things. You have so many good things to say about Felina. She's, she's a nice lady. 
She's really um, good at using her powers. She's good in a pinch. So, uh, you, you're, you two are going to walk out of the circus. Yes. All right. So, as you're walking, uh, you see at the entrance, uh, Buka, the, uh, the plant plant person, the guy, the plant, <laughs> plant guy, he's, uh, who handles, you know, you know, egg, no, entrance and exits, uh, is actually talking to, uh, a regent's guard. Um... And he seems really confused and a little odd-edged. Well, even though it doesn't make any sense, you wouldn't have given us this detail otherwise, Dingo is going to go over and say, Hey, what well, seems to be all the hubbub? Uh, oh, uh, hey, uh, I was just, um, th 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 that's all I know, by the way. Uh, yeah, and, uh, he, uh, can you, can you, can you talk to him? Sure, but, uh, don't exactly know what I'm going to talk to you about. Okay, well, I was sent here by, uh, the, uh, Regent's Guard stations. Right. Uh, requesting some wit some testimony, eyewitness accounts uh, regarding a certain individual uh, by the name what? of Hiro Hasegawa. All ah, right, is this to do with the fire that happened yesterday? Oh, uh, earlier today. Uh, actually, yeah, somewhat connected. How did you, how did you? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I've been meaning to come to the, uh, I've been meaning to come and see you guys. I thought that they were at the hospital, but uh, apparently that wasn't the case. They um, were. Well, we, we, what we, what I, we really know this hero Hasegawa person has, has, have you known him to be able to influence the minds of others? <laughs> Yeah, I think Angela just like, looked at him. Like, but no, so Angela and Dingo just looked between uh, each other for a moment. Uh, how can you be a. Uh, can you give us an example of what exactly you what you mean? He particularly charismatic? Uh, influencing them to do things they normally wouldn't, uh, causing large lapses in their memory. He might say something stupid on occasion, but he, I, he's never driven anyone to do something like that. Yeah, if he had that power, I'd, you know, yeah, that'd be the first I hear of it. No, that uh, that ain't the hero we know. Any extra sensory mind manipulation? <laughs> nope. He's pretty good at warping around, though, if you've asked him to do it. I'm sorry, are you a god or is this some sort of jape? I'm, I'm, these are the questions I've been sent to ask. Yeah, no, 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 we get it, we get it, but like I said, I mean... This guy here, you've been traveling with heroes since what? Before you got on a hemlock? Well, not quite that right. long, but yes, we've traveled together for a time. Yeah, and I've known this guy for a week and a half at this point, and we've been right. in pretty... I mean, we work at the circus together, so I, I, I'd say I know him pretty well. Felina, in processing you, they would have had, they would have had an ID or something like that, right? To, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, he says, right, well, that doesn't so you're conflicting with the reports of uh, the other uh, person we, we had. Uh, it, it, and what that other person uh, happened to be, Felina? Felina Skimperbell, yes. Yeah, no, um, I figured. She, ha she has reported that um, Hiro Hasegawa is um, capable of manipulating mental states and... Uh, I really, really want Angela to just yell out, but that's what she does. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dingo was almost about to say, uh, Dingo holds his tongue and he kind of raises his eyebrow and he goes, well, I'll tell you one thing as well. We've been traveling with Felina for quite some time and, uh, nah, that ain't, uh, that going to be further from the truth. The two have had their uh, ups and downs, let me tell you, but, uh, Hero would never do that to her, believe me. Oh. Well, Miss Skimberbell claimed to Mr. Ha to Mr. Hasegawa um, assaulted her, uh, broke her ribs, uh, and has been using his mental abilities to, uh, cause people to lose tracks of time. No, 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 um, I'll, that, I'll that, say that, it. That this I... might be related to an incident we had where a guard... You gotta believe me! Where, uh, I didn't a do guard it. seemed to Frank. A guard seemed to have a bit of a break and attacked him in his cell. Uh, this happened after, uh, Miss Skimperbell fainted and was taken to medical... <laughs> Angelo and Dingo just like yeah. face palm themselves when they said she fainted. Like <laughs> just the dots immediately connect. 
And, and Miss Game Rebel, uh, upon resuscitation, claims that uh, that incident may be the result of Mr. Hasegawa's uh, mental abilities uh, influencing the guard to lash out. Let me ask you something, Gas. If this guy's got mental abilities, you got you know any magicians, you know any other psychics who could like I don't know peer into his mind and uh, you know challenge that. I'm we have some. Also say that you live in a town with a giant magical wellspring and a bunch. We of do have it. some who could do that, but that would be a that would be an escalation. Um, we wouldn't yeah, want to break that out for ever. We wouldn't want to break that out for everything. So no, that's understandable, but I'm telling you, if you, 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 tell a psychic, you tell a psychic to walk around his brain, he's going to think that he's going to think he's at the Royal Gardens, all right? He's, there ain't no psychic potential in there. Might I just okay, ask so... as well that, presuming he did have psychic powers, which I don't know him to have, what would he stand to gain by influencing a guard to attack himself? I'm not sure, but I'm just... <laughs> These are just the questions I was meant to ask. So to be clear, then, you two are denying Miss Skimperbell's uh, account. I'm afraid so. Yes, that we are. Okay, very well. In fact, I think it might be good if we could come back to the station with you, because, uh, yeah, them, they, those guys shouldn't be there, all right? Um, you two are connect. Uh, you come in your official capacity as members of the circus. We're yeah, and all, also we official. All guards here. Yeah. Understood. Okay, that'll do. Right. Uh, if you can come provide uh, a He puts us in handcuffs as well for some reason. Right. Ah, uh, shit. If you'll just follow me into the city then. Everyone in the everyone in the circus <laughs> goes to jail. Okay. Um, you two can join twins. You'll have to share. <laughs> okay. Follow me into the city then. Was All right. a magic woman? We just find her in a cell. Erin. <laughs> Erin. Yeah. Erin or Dom Aaron, the stage magician, and Dominica, the magical. There's a mime, but he isn't in handcuffs, but he's miming that he's in handcuffs. So, uh, yeah, he walks forward and he just starts sort of explaining that. All right, that they. Uh, well, what happened? That they were uh, at the hospital. Uh, they had conflicting reports. Hero had mentioned uh, suspect details that uh, mentioned suspect details and uh, they were acting dodgy, suspicious, and unruly and they were thrown in holding the, the holding cells upon further investigation. Right. And yeah, and as you enter the city, says, and currently it looks like we're going to be holding them here for a while. I believe we're going to need to, because current uh, currently we're going. It looks like we're going to be holding them for a while. They're uh, want they're being investigated in connection to several, uh, to several petty crimes around the city, as well as the uh, burning within a major res within a major residential area, and set and eight deaths. Yeah. Right. 